My people, how and I salute and according to the time, or depending on where that under the listening to us, I welcome you to this obongalistic day with another obonga information. My people, no be smart, you know. Now, welcome, oh. When I hear um, you, Le Dochie, he don't come again, no, oh, against Chris Ezenwa. The talk say Chris Ezenwa, he they confuse in wife, we be royal premier. No, when you, Le Dochie, begin this gist, they tell people say Chris Ezenwa, they confuse in wife, we, you know, they allow in wife concentrate, or you know, they allow in wife. Answer them, you know, the allow your wife answer him, Papa. Oh. People come begin the thing, say the wife way in the talk now, Judy Austin, because everybody knows say the only wife for you the Judy get now, now Judy Austin. Because there's no other wife already. Now Judy Austin be the only wife way they on ground, where they with you, Lady Duchy. But they come, they shock realize everybody now. When we begin the hear, see now our royal queen, now you the Duchy they refer to. Oh. How can royal queen be you the Duchy wife when over three years now they know they sit together, they know they stay together, they know they stay for the same house. But now if somebody come and ask him, we'll say, what happen? My people, you the Duchy come begin the gist to say three days ago or four days ago or one week, I don't know, but they say he get some few days ago, say in papa call, call me. Say is there is a program, a get together that the all entire Iduche family are doing at Integer, where they will invite all their children, all their children, their grandchildren to attend that program. So that within that program, they will be able to have a get together for them. In that program, they normally celebrate a lot of things. After all, may also know about the program. In the program, they give awards to their best in class. Like if you're picking them, are coming, they come with their school result. And if you see their average and see their position in class, only of them that comes first, they compare their results, they give them award, encourage them. You know, they compare their grace and everything and tell themselves where they are doing well and where they are. It is an opportunity to build a leg to, to, you know, to uh, transfer or to instill in them the legacy of the Educhees and tell them what their vision is because a Duce family has a vision and what their vision is and what their character should be as a child that comes from a Duce family. So there are so many things they teach them, so many lectures. Even me herself has contributed to that before by you know training the children on different skills they should do and on different things they do. So it has it was it used to be a very serious program for the Educhees and everybody uh, is always aware of it and everybody always wait for it right now as i'm talking to you before that program many of my brothers and they're picking them so even those who are not uh, around who are in abroad they normally come back once a year just during that time to come and celebrate that educhees day and it's a very beautiful thing so say when they organize it this year say in papa will be separate eduche call me reminding me that the program is going to come up on the 31st of july and tell us, say, making carry and picking them come. Making carry and picking them come so that they also join other Edochi's grandchildren and children to celebrate this year's get together and uh, this educational foundation they normally build. So, do you know what May told my daddy? She told my daddy that she's busy and she has a lot of work on her table that she will not have time to do, to do that to come. My daddy said, okay, no problem. If you are not coming, no problem. Just send. You are picking them. Find a cab, send them to the east, or you put them in a the flight. We'll go and pick them from Enugu, and then we take them to the village. So it's not a problem. So if you can't come, no problem because of your job, we understand. But let this picking them come and enjoy with their others. All of us are there. I'm there. Your mother in law is there. You know, some other people are there. We'll take care of your picking them. No problem. Uh, may now said to my dad that my dad can talk to the picking them. That except then the other two can talk for themselves, Carl and Kat Daniela. So he said, Papa called Daniela. Daniela said he's not around, that she's in school. She also has some project on ground to finish up and everything, so she's not coming. Call Carl. Carl said if Daniela and the mommy is not coming, that he will not come. So when my dad when my daddy told me that, I said, Wow, what's the problem now? I said, Okay, let me at least I still have a relationship with Carl, even though he's becoming abusive these days, but he still picks my call. Let me just call Carl. So I picked my call, my phone and called Carl. And Carl told me, pop and play, that he's not going to be part of anything that the Duchess are doing. And I said, but you belong to the Duchess. You are still the blood of the Duchess. Why are you rejecting the Duchess? He kept quiet. And I now told him, I said, see, 
Don't because of the issue that come up between me and your mom and you are trying to deny your root. That is your root. Don't even allow anybody to take your position. You, Kambili is now, it's not around now. He has fly. You are the first son of Yul Edochie. You need to come up and take your position among the people. Not because I have issues with your mom. The second time I said I have issue with his mom, I this guy is back. Oh. Don't be smart, you know. Say, this small boy is back for me. Come they tell me, say, I know they talk him every time. Say, he has issue with my with a, with a mom. Say, wait him be the issue. Wait him be the issue. Nothing where this boy no talk. <laughs> My people no be smart, you know. Because the information they let us know be say, can't tell and say, every time you just, they confuse us, say, you have issues with my mom, with with his mom. Say, can't tell you they do. She say, you no get issue with my mom. There was no problem in the house. All of us were here. There was no issue. There was nothing. Now you just go. Say you see Judy Austin. You want Maria. You begin to carry Judy Austin. They go up and down. Sometimes we go even see you with Judy Austin for this house, for the mansion here. And we go ask you, say, what will be the problem? You go tell us, say, now your colleague, yeah, we finish late. Say, go pass a night. Because you know, say, my mom, just don't go for market to go and order goods. You know, go come back for two, three days. That woman go day here for two, three days. Somebody will not finish early. But he go stay there for two days. For our house here, in the night, you give them room. And we they here, me and Campbell, we go, they see how you they come up from your room in the night. They enter the room where that lady they sleep. We they see you and everything. But we don't know what was happening. Thinking you are giving her something she demanded. Not to know that there is something going on between them. It was actually when they said you married the second wife that we discovered it was that woman that you have been going out with since that you stay married. You started with this woman for long, even when there's no problem, we have everything we want at our level, we are not lacking anything, you still go out and destroy the marriage that we are enjoying by bringing a strange woman. And every time we ask you, you say you have issues with my mom, which issue do you have? Was there any issue? There was no issue with my mom. Then why are you now always trying to confuse us and telling us there is issue, there is issue? Please take away anything about issue because here there is no issue with my mom. It is all your fault and all your fault. My people. Now so card tell him. <laughs> now so card tell me you know no one telling friend that I seen the narrate the thing. I seen the narrator me can't do like say one summarize that side. Because Carl give him water water. Tell and say, never you talk him again. Say, see, do you know how we feel? Do you know how we feel when you bring this speaking here? Can't use them. When you bring this woman here, can't use them. Uh, destroy the marriage that you are, we have been enjoying. Or you and our mom are in a good term, and you bring this uh, picking them and their mama. Come use and destroy the marriage. Do you know how we feel when? Do you know how we feel when? Uh, you were on the social media dragging our mother up and down, dragging our mother up and down, and causing wasps. And everybody will be laughing. Do you know how my friends were laughing at me when we wake up in the morning and open our phone in school and we'll only see you with another man's wife dancing? And you know what pains me more is that when the man wanted the wife back, you people threaten, according to what we hear, you threaten him, you beat him up, you shun him and tell him not to talk. That is wickedness. That is wickedness of the highest order. Wickedness. And you want me to still call you daddy. And I can't do without calling you daddy. So they say, Carl, tell him, say, you made me, you become a shame to me that I cannot even tell people again. I used to be proud son of you, the Duchy. But when this issue started, I cannot talk to anybody. Do you know how shameful it is that we heard that you pregnant another man's wife and we are your children on social media? Do you know how many times Daniela cried inside her room? After coming back from school and be narrating to us, waiting her friends are telling her about our father. Do you know how many times Carl Campbell was so fought in school with her friends because they were using you to quarrel us? Campbell was, you know, had serious issue with her friends, with his friends, because you because of the lifestyle you are living. You were not minding how we feel. You were giving us depression. You are giving us mental issues. We are just always thinking, why? Is it a mistake to have come through you to this world? And here you are telling me, uh, is it the mistake, the issue I have with your mom? Which issue do you have with my mom? Was there any issue before? Just tell yourself the truth. Was there any issue before? There was no issue. Now you can't they create issue. They do like say there was issue. There was no issue anywhere before. There was no issue anywhere. I, I tell you. 
So don't even mention to me that there is an issue because you are the one that created the issue. My people know be smart, you know, say, Carl, give you the duchy woto woto. When he ask him, why you no go go? And Carl tell and say, make I tell you the truth. I have no business with a duchy's house. And I have no business with your get together. I have no business with your party. I have no business with anybody from a duchy's family. Please just leave me alone. Let me be. Come, uh, uh, Janela and my mom say they are not going. So I don't think I'm ready to do anything with you guys. I would have said, okay, because every other person is going, let me manage and follow them and go. But the situation where they are not going, what am I going there to do? I have no business there. I mean, I have no business there. So why should you ask me to go? My people know be smart, you know. You let us tell him, friends, say, now so in end, they talk with Carl and that he was so disappointed with Carl and uh, he didn't know what to say and he left. Say, but then Papa continued persuading me and me didn't accept. But you know what, what, what shocked them? According to waiting you let the let him friend know. In the telling friend, say, you know what shocked everybody? The guy say no. He say, when after that is the next day being today, say somebody can't call them. Can't call him, Papa. Say he see me somewhere in an state. He say everybody got shocked. Because according to information we will get to, he say, after my papa tried to invite them, they say they are not coming. That are busy. That uh, Chris Ezenwa called me on phone and me asked me to come around at the company, at the office, that there is something he wanted them to discuss. The same time, because all these things happened last week, the same time that my father called me and me told my father that she doesn't have time, that she's working, was around the same time Chris Ezenwa called me to come around the company that there's a, a surprise for her. And they say, may come around. You know, she likes money so much and she likes making money. So when she got there, Chris Ezenwa told me that all the proposals they made had been approved and all the distributions they made had been paid. In fact, that everything May proposed they did were all go through. Say so all the companies, all the countries, all the places they sought to be to send their product that all of them has accepted. In fact, they have loaded and sent to them that he she, he just kept kept her blank so that it will be a very big surprise to her. And right now, her commission and her own is ready. Say so Kime was so happy, and Chris says and and say, okay, I would like to because of the joy of this thing, take you and your family out, and at least spoil you guys for one day. And I wanted to take you around Lagos here, but there's this important program we are doing in the village on the 1st of August. We may come tell and say, no, be that day they say, then they do protest. He say, yes, that's the day they are doing protest. But we'll get to the village before the protest time. We'll fly down to the village before the protest. And uh, we just enjoy ourselves in the village. You know, enjoy everything we are doing. Allow the people that are doing the protest to do the protest. So on the next day, we find our way back to the airport before the protest begins in the morning, take the first flight back to Lagos here. And they said, okay, no problem. And what shocked Alai's Habi say, what shocked Alai's in Webi Yule Doche say, when he hears say, one hand as Chris proposed, Naime accepted. But my father persuaded and persuaded both me and her picking them. Nobody accepted. Can you imagine it? Do you see where her priority is now? Do you see how where her life is now? So, Reaching the 31st of July, I was thinking at least he, she would have changed her mind and sent any of the Pekin or come with them. No way. Nobody saw them. 31st of July passed. 30th of July passed. 31st passed. We didn't see any of them. Then coming to the 1st of August, coming on that same 31st of July, rather, we were in the house. Now somebody can call my papa say, he get the person where you see around their side. Say he resemble that in wife. And people don't they talk, say, that you le doche wife, that you le doche wife. Say he day a club yana, he day a club yana. Say they see him, I think come back. They see and they carry him with him, picking them come. And you know, say people they like him. Anywhere where you go, people go rally around, they they call him queen. May know I don't understand what he want to achieve with that. But right now, this recently, what I discovered, be say, anywhere where she go, now her name, now people go to court, her name. 
premier, premier, premier. So, and the thing, now in the make them, they feel like, say, in the, on top of the world. See, now that thing, will happen? So, I say, happened that they, they, they want somebody to call my daddy, say, ah, you know, be your daughter-in-law, I they hear, will be premier, premier. Uh, my daddy come to and say, now she will say, ah, they say she do my uh, village now. My daddy said, okay, no problem. Let me, I'm mean, busy now. I'm preparing for a program. Let me see what happens. So the man happens to attend the program that happens at Chris Ezenwa's place. And as he reached there, you see as people, they rush, quime, 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 quime. Hey, now the man come call him, my dad. Say, now your daughter-in-law, look at here, here, here. In fact, my daddy couldn't hold it to. She carried, because we are already at Integer. He carried his driver and one other person rushed down to Ikulobia in order to go and see things for herself or for himself or rather, only to reach there and see me and my picking them, enjoying themselves so freely, so happily. And when he reached there, I was like, wow. And the ceremony was so big. And when somebody spotted my dad, the person wanted to introduce my dad. They said, no, somebody like that was not invited. They saw somebody like that, no. And my dad said he has to come out because already he has come. He has to come out to walk in. They greeted him, welcomed him to the party. Everybody was happy. That man came and hugged him. They picking then came and hugged him. Was just he just like whispered to Mess ear, say, "Is this is this is this real?" Mess say, "Wow, we just come to have fun here. Can you imagine? You just come to have fun here, but you couldn't have fun in your own home. That's what my dad asked, and he said, "Which home?" <laughs> he told my dad that things have changed. Is it that you don't know? My people no be smart, you know." You let Duce, they say this thing, they cry. They tell him, friends, say, see, can you imagine my own wife telling my dad that things have changed? That my dad was, and um, unfortunately and unfortunately, the person that is celebrating this Christmas is the wife, Papa. Now that time, my dad no say now the person we know, te, 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 but it's a long time they've not seen. And the children were running around this man as if it's their grandfather, running around this man, and my dad was inside somewhere watching them and could not hide it until... When my dad now came out, meet with Chris, meet with him, Papa, greet him, Papa, and Papa introduced uh, Chris as one to my dad, and my dad, you know, introduced himself and introduced me to Chris and everything. And at the end of the day, say my father came back sad, very sad. And when I was asking my father what happened, he refused to tell me. He only carried our eldest brother, would be Leon, and entered the room and talked to Leo and told Leo how sad he is and how disappointed he was with me. In fact, that is like he will never have anything to discuss with me again because this is the biggest of the embarrassment right before my presence. I invited this lady lovingly to this program and she refused. But another person invited her to another thing and she gladly carried my grandchildren and attended. It's a very big slap on my face. My dad was down. In fact, everything we did at that Duchess day was just nothing to him again. My dad went home sad and nobody was very happy about it. But when he discussed with uh, 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 Leo, according to what the let us know, he said, Leo, just console my dad and tell my dad, just, just leave. Because they didn't allow me to come close to see what happened. Because everybody became very aggressive to me, very angry with me, like I was like, am I the one that told me not to respond to anybody? Am I the problem? Why are people just venting their anger on me? And people keep saying that I am the problem. But there's no problem. So this thing caught my dad very angry that men rejected our proposal but taking Chris Ezenwa proposal. And Yule Dushi was telling the friend, I am very angry. I am going to do something that will shake everybody. I am going to do something that if you hear it, it will check you. I am going to deal with Chris Ezema. I am going to squeeze him. I'm going to beat him. I'm going to design the friend, tell and say, come. All this information where you give me now, is there anyone remaining? Or oh, that's why you want to beat, you want to squeeze, you want to squeeze, you want to do this, you want to do that to him. Is it all these things you are telling me now that you want to do all these things to Chris Ezema? Now, like the and say, "Is this is not enough to do that? What is the problem with this young man? Why is he? Why is he doing this thing to my family?" Now the man tell and say, hmm, "It is very, very easy to slap a rich man. It is very, very easy to beat a rich man, but it is not easy to face the consequence of it." This thing you are just shouting here, and if Chris Ezenwa just doing finger pim, 
and call the security against you, you know, if you come out of it, that guy is rich. I, sus I, I suggest you use another strategy to get what you want from her. What do you want from your, from Chris? He said, what do you want from Chris? Be say, make Chris stop going out with the wife, stop every relationship, both business and friendship relationship with the wife will be men. In fact, he doesn't want to see Chris with men anywhere. And the man tell and say, in friend tell and say, that is impossible. It's impossible. Because you are not Chris, you are not your wife. You don't know what their relationship is. You don't know everything about them and you can't stop it. Meanwhile, the last time I checked, you are no longer married to your wife, me. And because you are no longer married to your wife, me, what, how, how is, has it become a problem that in the go out with Chris Ezenwa, how has it become a problem that Chris Ezenwa invited her to a program? How has it become a problem? She has a right to choose where to go. She has a right to attend your party or not attend your party. After all, everybody knows how you dropped her, dumped her, and married another person, leave her in the house, and told the whole world on social media that you are having peace of mind with Judy Austin. What you're invariably telling us is that this woman does not give you peace of mind. Then why have you now come to talk about uh, Chris Ezenwa is doing this or that? This is a woman that doesn't give you peace of mind. Are you not happy that another person is taking, he, is taking her? Why are you becoming so uh, uh, chameleon? You are neither here nor here. You are neither cold nor, or nor hot. What is it? You neither like her nor, nor hate her. You don't want anybody to have her and you don't want to have her. What is your problem? What kind of life is that? Is that not wickedness? Why are you doing this thing to her? You are becoming so harsh on the woman. Can't she be happy? Does she not have right to be happy? When last did you take her out? When last did you stay together with her? When last did you discuss with her? And you have somebody that discusses with her every day, takes her out, gives, makes her happy, and you're angry. What is your problem? What is your problem? My people know be smart, you know. Now you let check on the telling friends, say, I don't understand you now. Is it, are you quarreling me now, or you're correcting me now, or you're supporting me now? He said, no, I neither quarrel you nor support you nor, you know, scold you. But the issue is that you have to be rational over this issue. You want to go and fight Chris Ezema because you, you heard that your wife and children are in his house. What are they doing in his house? Who carried them to his house? That is the issue. Why did your picking them decided to go to his house instead of your own house? Why did your picking them agree that they will never come to your house but they are ready to go to his house? These are the things you should ask yourself. These are not things you rush into and start making trouble because you will lose all. You let see, see, this is why I have tried my best. You let was telling him, see, there were times I have gone to Chris and tell him, cancel the endorsement you have given to this woman. Whatever the consequence is, I will pay. Don't have anything to do with her again. Do you know that Chris Ezema have been taking my wife around the world? They will go to South Africa, spend one month, and you will be seeing them in swimming pools, where they will be dancing, where they will be playing, uh, uh, swimming. They will be wearing swimming truck. How can my wife wear swimming truck and be swimming with Chris Ezema? I, the guy asked him, so, okay, when you want to swim, what you want making wear trousers swim with, swim with them? Because now Chris isn't one. What did they use swim before? Nobody swimming trunk. Now you let just say, I don't even understand you. I don't even understand where you did. I don't even understand what you did talk. I tell you, say, he go carry my wife. My wife goes dressed almost half naked because he wears swimming trunk. He go look at him body. Say, then they do skit. They do, say, you know, say that is very bad. Nine, the, the man tell and say, there were many things I have not understood about you. Is it that you are very angry that your wife is going to do business in Dubai, South Africa, and Cambodia, or any other Asian country with your with Chris Ezenwa, or you are angry that Chris, I don't, you just say it. it. And the guy tell and say, I want Chris Ezenwa to cancel the endorsement with my wife. That endorsement will not be renewed. And the man asked and say, the day where they give the endorsement, where are you there? He said, no. He said, then you cannot stop it because you are not part of the endorsement. You are not a witness to the endorsement. You are not the nest of king to the endorsement. Then why should the endorsement be cancelled? You have no business over her life again. The only thing that is holding you is back because the certificate of divorce has not been given and it's not been broken. Any day it is broken and given, any day it's given and broken, all these things you are saying, you will not say it. All of them will be gone. Because how can you say this? You are not being rational here. You are not being rational here that you invited her to a party and she decided that she would go to Chris Ezenwa's party. How much will you pay her for coming to your party? And you let us just say, was he not, was, did that party, is he not organizing his, in her home and they picking them home? 
I heard that the man tell and say, do you know how much Chris Ezenwa paid for her to attend that party? Do you know how much he paid? He was looking, say, he must have paid the big money, the flight ticket, the allowances and everything to make sure that he has, that he has her and they picking them around and make them comfortable. Do you know how much he paid? Do you think it's free? Do you think she paid for herself? You will not pay her bills. When last did you pay her bills? Why are you making noise when you're not doing anything about it? And you the duche can tell and say, be like, say, I go stop this discussion from with you because you are not making sense at all. You are not making sense at all. I tell you that I am going to arrest Chris when The man say, go ahead and arrest Chris Ezema. You will be the one they will throw in quickly because you cannot arrest her. If you arrest him, he has not done anything against you. You cannot arrest him. You cannot even stop the endorsement he has given to your wife. There is nothing you can do to him. Yes, it's possible that you are picking them. All of them must have been taking Chris as a close friend and a close pal than you. That is because you refuse to take your responsibility as a father. You refuse to do what you're supposed to have done to them as a father. But they have now taken another father in place of you. So what you need to do is to walk yourself back into their life by showing them that you are sincere and that you have changed and you are no longer the person they knew before. So why are you making things so difficult when you can change things in a twinkle of an eye? Why are you making it so difficult? You told the friend, say, I will stop here. I will never talk to you, but you will hear me. What I will do to Chris, the whole social media will hear it. What I will do to Chris, everybody will, will hear it. His ear will shout, woo. What I will do to Chris, if you hear it, you will know that I'm angry. He has touched me several every time. Every time he's taking my wife out. Right now, they even tell me they are preparing to go to London, Birmingham Trade Fair, and Chris Ezema is following them. And from there, they will establish in Europe, going around Europe, establishing Zander Kiddies and things. Is it Ghana? Like these things, the only product that this woman is said, why must we be the only one that is giving me trouble in my marriage? He told the friend, I said, see, let me tell you, I have gathered from every reliable source that it was Chris Ezenwa that empowered my wife to go to court because Chris wanted her to divorce me so that he can marry her. Now the man tell and say, when these issues were happening, your wife does not know Chris. I know Chris very well, and I know you and your wife very well. Your wife has not started working with Chris. He does not know Chris. He has not even any relationship with Chris. How can it be not Chris that gave him money? Now the man, uh, you let the tell and say, you never can tell. You never can tell. Because this kind of relationship, it didn't just start. Because they are not up to one year and they are too close like this. It didn't, it's not just a relationship of one year that is making them too close like this. So he can tell and say, see, Naim, it's the same Chris Ezen when I empower my wife, they go to court every day, give her money. Do you know my wife hired a lawyer from the United States of America, a chamber in the U.S., and hired the, one of the best lawyers in Nigeria, Olufalana, against me? Who is paying those bills? <laughs> now the guy told and say, your wife gave money. If that's the case, if you don't know that your wife gave money, it means say, you don't know what you they talk. Your wife gotta pay, though they're your wife. Your wife is a very rich guy, a rich person now. Because she's getting endorsement every day. She's getting business every day. She's even selling her own product. You know, this her relationship with uh, Priceless and this trade fair that do you know how much they are making? Even sometimes they have made their money before even they go for the trade fair. Because when they when they hire the place, they share it among the vendors and they 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 the position they are staying in, they don't even pay. They share the money among every other vendors and they just go there free and come back free. Sometimes they have a lot of change they share, plus the money they will make from sales. It is a big money. If you have not done that kind of business, you wouldn't know what these people are picking. They are picking money from state to state every day. Your wife has money. You dare not just say this is a lie. Don't mind. Say, my wife, even if he has money, no, be only I'm the chopper. Has he ever assisted me, even though he's using my name to make the money? Has he ever assisted me for anything? Has he ever even assisted me to even to even buy fuel? Now you are telling me that he's making a lot of money. What I'm saying is that I don't want that relationship with Chris Ezenwa because Chris Ezenwa is making my wife feel so proud. Chris Ezenwa's money. Because Chris Ezenwa is a billionaire, he's making my wife feel that nobody can stand her because he knows that if anybody touch her, she will call Chris Ezenwa and Chris Ezenwa can release any amount is needed to make sure that the problem is solved. And that is why my wife has been taking me for granted and has not changed their mind even as we've been begging her. She's been still, she's staying strong head and refused to change. <laughs> now that time the guy began to laugh you, they just say, I know nothing a jealousy. Now serious mm -hmm. jealousy, now they worry you. Now I know saying a serious jealousy, they worry you. Jealousy, now it be your problem. 
And they tell you, Leduce, when will you solve this problem of jealousy you have? You decided that you have a better option in Judy Austin, and you married Judy Austin and left your wife. Now, you have seen that the wife you left is not better than Judy Austin. You have compared two of them and see that the best is your wife. Why don't you own up to it and find a way out? Why are you doing all this? The more you delay in doing the right thing, the more things get bad. The more you delay in doing the right thing, the more things get worse. The more you delay in taking the right action, the more things get deeply bad. And there's nobody you will blame when all these things that went bad and you can't solve it. There is time now. There is time now. Go ahead. Go ahead and settle your case with your wife. There is nobody who doesn't have problem in his family, but everybody is settling their case one after by another. But you compounded your own by bringing another woman in the house, but there is no problem. There is nothing that cannot be solved. I will advise you, you, the duchy, that you go back to your wife and settle your problem with her. It is very possible that she may decide to change her mind. It is very possible that she may decide to come to you and say, okay, how can we do it? Should they say, I have done everything I should do. The man was telling him, remove Chris Ezenwa from this. You let the said, no. Until I deal with Chris Ezenwa, he will not leave my wife alone. Until I deal with Chris Ezenwa, he will not know that I still love my wife. I want to show him that I love him and I want to use jealousy to deal with him. And the guy tell and say, I have told you to manage this your jealousy on Queen May before it could land you into trouble because that thing is capable of landing you into crickly. And the man also tell and say, see, not be only jealousy, they worry yourself. Even transfer of shame and uh, 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 transfer of shame because Mr. Obasi just came recently because some time ago, you the Duce, your wife Premier had been going out with Chris Ezen while you've not made any trouble. You are making trouble now because the shame of what Mr. Obasi did has not left you. And you are trying to transfer the aggression of that shame onto Chris Ezenwa. Chris Ezenwa wasn't the problem. Oh, please leave that young man alone. You are the problem with Judy Austin. And if you had settled Mr. Obasi with Judy Austin, you wouldn't have been seeing yourself into this kind of mess you are in now. I will tell you the truth. The greatest problem you have now is Mr. Obasi, not even me. Go and find a way to wage Mr. Obas from going to court or else that one will drag you the more because that one is going to expose a lot of things. That one is going to show how shameful your action had been and that one will expose you and Judy. In fact, you and Judy will be in very big trouble if that man decides to go to court. I suggest you people stop that man now before it is late. Now you, the Duchess, tell and say, that's not what we're talking about now. I know how I'm going to deal with that man, but what I'm telling you is that I want you to stop. I want you to stop I want you to help me put a stop to this premier relationship with Chris Ezenwa. In fact, I am taking it as a project right now. I will never tolerate any relationship with Chris Ezenwa again. It has ended and it has ended. Anytime I see that, let them come back from this program. I'm waiting for them. I will go personally go to Lagos. I think they have a restraining order not to make, that I shouldn't come to the mansion. I will personally go to the mansion and I will make them understand that any other time I see them in any program or in any place with Chris Ezenwa, waiting I will do to them. Nobody, anybody will hear it, go ask me, say, uh, whether uh, ma madness, you don't they worry me. I go tell them, say, I am very stubborn. And even God who created me knows that I am very stubborn. And I will show them that I am not the kind of person they will deal with and go free. Chris Ezenwan had made me feel bad severally. He has embarrassed me because of Kwame. He has put me shame on my face because of Kwame. And I will never drop it under the carpet. I can never take it for granted. I will make sure I stop him and stop him once and for all. Money is not everything, I will tell you. Not because he has money and I will be afraid of him. I will show him that there is something somebody without money can do. There is someone, even a poor man has a value. And I will show him that I, will, I, I, I am the one that married me and I'm the one that give birth to all those picking them that join them. And I will tell him that I know what I can do. It's not, he doesn't know it all. 
That is what I'm going to do. His friend now tell him, I have told you, trade with caution. Trade with caution. The problem you have is that you don't listen to people and you don't do the right thing. You always do what you want to do. And when you make mistakes, the thing land you 10, 20 years backwards. You don't even understand that you, what is happening to you now was your problem. What is happening to your family now, you are the cause of it. And you have never taken responsibility for one day. I want you to go back and find a way. Think of how to solve your problems with Judy. Solve your problem with Mr. Bassey. Solve your problem with me. Solve your problem with picking them you have so that everybody will be united you live a happy man you are too young to be angry you are too young to look so depressed you are too young to face all these stresses you are bringing to yourself it is not good it doesn't help your health please go ahead and find a way you can make yourself happy and settle all this issue whatever it takes to be happy do it because nobody can make you happy until you make yourself happy my people not be smart you know in friend can't leave and go when i see him you 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 is just depressed. If you look at it, you see that he's just depressed and he's just jealous. He's just jealousy that is worrying him. He's jealous of our royal queen and he cannot stand it and see our royal queen succeeding. Neither can he stand it and see our royal queen having relationship with big guys and big shots and, bo and the ballers in town. That is the challenge. You know that Chris Ezewa is a baller in town and having a relationship with Pime is a very serious issue to him. And that is why he's finding it very, very difficult, very, very difficult to, to see, to, very, very difficult to accept that Chris Ezewa should continue to have a relationship with our royal Pime. My people now, so they just reach our table. We say make a touch light and we turn. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please try to subscribe. All our returning subscribers will say, Una well done, Una welcome. May God bless Una. Bless this new moon for Una. Bless the work of Una hand. Bless everything Una they do in Jesus' name. Amen. My people, make Una have a nice day. Bye.